Right then, so Crumble is a fantastic CRM that you can use with Trello and you can use it on the three account, which, you know, even better. So what I like to do is I use Calendly and you might use something like Calendly, Acuity, something along them lines. And what you want to do is make it so that when someone books a call with you, it automatically gets added to your CRM. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use a Zapier account. You can use the free version of Zapier to do this. However, I'm going to be using a paid version to show you some advanced features, but you do not need to have this. I will actually show you both the free and paid version. So let's go. So first off, I need some test data. So you can always test it by using, you know, someone might have already recently booked a call in with you. But what we're going to do is I'm going to do it with my own information. I always like to test with my own information. So first off, let's go. Let's say I'm going to book a client, no, a one-to-one -one meeting with myself, you know. I'm going to book a one-to-one -one meeting. So let me just click on view live page. I'm going to book it in like I would be a normal client. So let's have a look. We'll just book it in for then at 1 p.m. Just got it fill in. Business name. IP Moon Testing Limited. Uh, no. Testing Automations. So I'll schedule them. There we go so that's all booked in so now we have some test data because it will pull through this recent one from myself so what we're going to now do is if we go into zapier we're going to create a zap now i'm going to show you the shall i show you the three version first yeah i'll just show you the three version so here where it says create a custom zap we're going to press open editor and then in here, we're going to choose what our trigger will be in Zapier, which is going to be Calendly, because it will be that a Calendly call has been booked. So we're going to go on there, Calendly. Can you see? Now we need to choose an event. So in here, we're going to say that an invitee was created. So that means that someone has booked a call with me. So let's press continue. We're going to choose our account. So if you haven't connected your account already, you will need to do so. What it will do when you connect your account, it will ask you for some credentials. How you get these is when you go into Calendly, if you click integrations at the top here, you will scroll down and you will see Zapier. If you click on that, um, go to setup and it will give you a unique API key. This is what it will ask you when you connect your calendar account for the first time. Right, so now we're going to press continue and we're going to press test trigger. Now it should pull through the recent call that was booked, which was myself. So as you can see, Laura Burnett, is it the correct one? Yep, IT Moon Testing Limited. So that's the call that I just booked in. If you wanted to look at some other test data that you have, you can press this drop down menu and press load more and sometimes it will bring through more for you. So let's press continue. So now what we need to do is we need to tell it what to do. So what we want it to do is we want it to add it to our Trello board that we have with Crumble. You can, of course, use this for any other CRM. Very similar steps. So if you were using HubSpot, Capsule, Zoho, anything like that, you'd be able to do this as well. So just search for your CRM in here. I'm going to search for Crumble but I've already got it listed there, but obviously you can type it in and search for it as well. So if I press crumble, now we're going to choose our event. So our event's going to be that we want to create a Trello crumble card. So I'm going to click on there. And if you have no idea what crumble is, check out our other videos. Um, just click here to get the link. And basically you can have a look what crumble is. We have a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to set this board up to make it nice and simple for yourself as well. It's very easy to use. Now let's press continue. So you're gonna need to choose a Crumble account. Now I already have mine connected, so I'm just gonna click on mine, but I also want to show you where to get that information from. So what you would do, you would go to your Crumble CRM and at the top you would press Crumble. 
And what you can see here is all your leads and things like this. But what we're more interested in here is toppings on the left hand side. Now, if you click on toppings, what you want to do is press on Zapier. And then in here at the very top, press generate board API key. Now, I don't need to do that, but what it will do is in the middle here, there'll be a load of text that comes up. You want to copy that text. This is the text that will be asked for when you add a new board into here. So if you had to connect a new account, that is what it would ask you for. So then press continue. And now we're basically putting in all the details. Now, these are all the fields that we have set up on our board. So now I'm going to click in first name um, and I want the name to go in there. Um, the surname, unfortunately, I can't, because of how Calendar works, I can't split that up. It says Laura Burnett. So I can't actually split that up. So what you would need to do in that instance is in your Calendly account, is you can actually choose to make it ask for the last name and first name as separate fields. So if I actually clicked into the one-to-one -one meeting here and I pressed invitee questions, where you've got this name here, if you pressed edit, you can actually change the name to first name, last name. And then what that would do, it would make sure it asks for the first name and the last name as separate fields. So this is another way that you could do it. So just change mine back. There we go. I will show you another way of splitting that up as well, but that'll be after I've shown you this free version because you do need the paid version of Zapier to do it. So obviously, if I hadn't got the paid version of Zapier, I would go into Calendly, change that to first name, last name. I would have to retest it to get some new test data. And then I'd scroll up to the top. I'd press test trigger. And I would click here and press load more and it would pull through the refreshed version where I have it split up basically. So let's go back here. So that would be put in then. Then where it says form, we're going to click on here and press show all options and we can either scroll through. But as I know, I typed in a number that I recognize. I can put in the few digits that I have of that and it will search for it. Let's have a look. Not that one. There we go. Can we see? So we can put in there the text reminder that we're number we put in. That's what we want for the form. For the email field, we're going to click in there and choose invitee email. And you probably get the gist of what we're doing here. So the company search here. And um, we want this one here, not this one here where it's got all the answers. We want the one where they just answered question one, which was what their business name was. Obviously, you might have not have anything for there, so you can leave that blank. The date, I actually want to be today's date. So for it to do that, what you would do is you put in a piece of code here. Let me just bring that up again. So it is two curly brackets, and then it says zap underscore meta underscore human underscore now, and then two of them as well, two of the closed brackets. And then what that does, it basically puts in today's date, and that's what I want. So for website, I do actually ask what their website is in a question, I believe. Da, 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 da. Nope, not on this call. It's on another call. So I would leave that blank. Their address, I don't ask for that. Notes, no, I don't want anything to book on that. Actually, I do. I want to book, book a call via calendar for a one-to-one -one meeting. You can type your text in there. Now, for the description, what I want to do is put some of these answers that I got. So I asked them a question. I want to find the question, not their business name. I said, will you be wanting to discuss any of the following? So I'm going to click on that, and then that's going to put in the question. And then I'm just going to press Enter to go down a line. And now I want the response to that question. So let's have a look. There we go. There's the response. They wanted automation, Laura Alex. I also asked another question. So if I find question three, I do, what do you want to chat about on this call? So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to go down the line again. And I need to find the answer. It's usually further up. There we go. Testing automations. Um, I don't think I ask any more questions. Yeah, that's it. So that's happy. 
The deal value, obviously I don't know what that is, so that can be left blank. Now the title of the card, I want it to be their name. And then I want to do like a dash and I want to put, what do I want to put? I'm going to put one-to-one -one meeting, so that's what I want, the event type to be in there. And then the source of it, so on here, I obviously don't know the source currently uh, because I haven't spoke to a person, so I'm going to put other. And then what I'm going to do is press continue. And we're going to press test and review. Now, if we go back to our board, there we go. Can you see here on the left-hand side, it's added me with the title. It's put Laura Burnett, one-to-one -one meeting. It's put in what I wanted to put in the description, so which was the question, followed by the answer. And then it's filled in the fields that I asked it to fill in. And then in the notes, it's put book to call via Calendly for a one-to-one -one meeting. So it's worked perfectly. So there you have it. Happy days. So all you have to do now is you want to scroll up and name yours that. So this would be, for instance, Calendly, one-to-one -one meeting. Well, it's going to work for all of the meetings, actually. Calendly to Dapier. Now, I've just said it's going to work for all meetings, and that's because what it's going to do is no matter what kind of event they book, so it could be that they book... They book a private one, one hour meeting, a strategy session, a power hour, whatever it's going to be, it's going to get added. Now, it may be that you actually only want it to add certain events or your events have different questions. So obviously, I've been quite specific in I wanted it to fill in here. So they may have specific questions that are answered. So therefore, if you've got the paid version of Zapier, you can use some cool little features, which I'm going to show you now. So if you're not interested in these cool little features that you can do in Calendly, not Calendly, in Zapier, you can stop the video now. But don't forget, subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know how you found the video. So if we press this plus arrow now, what we can do... Hang on. Go back to my setup. There we go. Press this plus arrow in between Calendly and Crumble. And what we're going to choose is filter. So what I'm going to then tell this to do, only continue if the event type contains one-to-one -one meeting. So that means it will only actually continue with this putting them onto Crumble if it's a one-to-one -one meeting. So if they booked a power hour, it's not going to match that. It's not going to say one-to-one -one meeting as the event type. So that means it will not continue. So this is a good way to make sure that you could create one per actual event to make them more specific. So for instance, you might have a certain calendar event that you don't want, like client discussion. I actually don't want that to create something on my CRM because they're already a client. So I wouldn't want that. So therefore, I'm, instead, I'm going to create separate Calendly apps. So this one's going to be Calendly one-to-one -one meeting, like that. Now, if I press close on that, another thing you can do is, you know where we had the first name and last name and it didn't split? Well, we can press the plus arrow here and use format. And inside the format of our Zapier, what you can do is press text as the action event. And it has a cool little thing, which is called split. So if we scroll down here now until we find split text, we're going to basically make it split the text up. So we're going to say that the input value is their invitee name. And what we want it to do, if we click on here, is we want to make all a separate fields where it says segment index and press continue. So then if we test this now, what's going to happen is it turns Laura Burnett into Laura Burnett. So if I go back to create a Trello crumble card, set up action, and click on invite e first name, where it says here. Now, obviously, I could choose Laura Burnett, but I could also choose this text format that we've done and choose the output of Laura. Choose the output number two for Burnett for the surname. 
So that's a nice little way where you can do that. But you have to have the paid version of Zapier to be able to do that. And then, of course, make sure that you have your Zap turned on. So let's just continue. Let's just turn on the Zap. And happy days. It's now turned on. So as you can see, I've created one a separate Zap earlier for another event. So I've got one for one-to-one -one meetings. And I've also got one for power hours. And I've also got one for new customers. So I've created one per event that I actually have. So this is a way that you could do that. And then obviously the questions are different that I ask in a power hour to what the different into one-to-one -one meetings, meaning that the description will match what it needs to match. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully it shows you how you can connect Calendly up to Zapier. You can use this for Acuity to Zapier, Acuity to Trello even, anything like that. That's the kind of process you would go through. So don't forget, if you want to know more, you want to learn more, make sure you join the Wizardry Hub, the membership where we help people with technology every single day in their business. We help you with email marketing, CRM, social media, general digital marketing, anything at all, creating websites, editing your website, whatever it is. So make sure you join the Wizard Hub. Take advantage of your exclusive 30-day free trial for watching this video. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and drop us a comment if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know more about different things, of course, leave us a comment and let us know, and we will work our way around to it. But if you're wanting super fast help, Wizardry Hub is where you go. Thank you for watching, everybody.